Hello, and welcome back to the Western Front of the Great Patriotic War. Today I'm trying to leave the audio in-game on, so let me know if you like that. But what I'm already seeing after our last turn is that not a lot happened. Now, what you probably have already seen by at this point, or... Um, maybe you should see is a little 13 minute video of super sped uh, air turn because the audio didn't record for my air turn um, so I did a little voiceover 13 minute four times speed one and basically the takeaway from that was I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing flying the missions that said we did lose a lot of planes so let's take a quick look at the losses screen um, and we can look at some of the, the ground losses as well. So we lost 26,000 men, almost 27,000 men this turn. So relatively light turn. Only 233 guns and 38 armored fighting vehicles. Uh, and the Axis only lost 1,000 men and um, a very few guns, armored fighting vehicles. Sorry, 9,000 men altogether, not 1,000 killed. So we lost 26,000 altogether, but almost 3,000 killed. So there was combat, um, but it was light. And most of the combat was centered around the um, southern front this time. So here in the southern front, we had a big old air battle happening where we lost hundreds of planes. We lost a lot of planes and were unable to shoot very many planes down in return. So that stinks. Um, we also had some ground combat where our, our lads got pushed back into um, basically into Odessa. So our rifle division that I kind of was hoping that would hold the line here got pushed right into Odessa. And then we had two rifle divisions on our southern flank, and they both got absolutely smashed by this Romanian infantry division. Did them both um, with very late losses. Well, I guess, yeah, I mean, it's a really big infantry division. They had 20,000 men in it to start the war. Um, so I don't know why it's so large. I guess it's I guess it's with uh, a couple of machine gun battalions, but still, twenty thousand men. So we weren't quite able to hold there. I thought we would. I, I honestly thought we would hold there. So that's unfortunate. Uh, and then we had they tried one crack at the city and they couldn't break it, but. Basically, this was just a scout. So next turn, we're going to have to just kind of stack everyone inside. And that's where we're going to try to set up here. So, southern front. What I'm thinking is evacuating the southern front by sea to Sevastopol. If possible. And then sticking... Sticking these rifle divisions in the city. And then moving the cavalry divisions out of the city. So you can hear the trucks rolling and stuff now that we have the, the volume turned on. That's a tank division there. So 
So that's a little interesting. Let's ride these guys back over here. The reason I'm starting with the south is because that is our area of um, most concern right now. And the reason for that concern is that we have uh, I'm going to put both of these guys under this 40th Rifle Corps, I think. What else does he have? Oh, he has a guy in the fortress. So let's reassign this fortress one to the coastal army. Because so I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll leave the coastal army in in the city. Except, of course, can't move. Why the hell not? I guess I'll still got knocked back. I don't know. Oh, I could just march them out of here. I don't even need to use a boat. Nice. Alright, so we're going to re reposition the southern front to Kherson, maybe? Yeah, we'll move them to Kherson. What is this? Why is it unready? Let's give it to that rifle core. And let's start getting these guys some supply in. We're seeing that they've got a lot of stuff that's under under supplied. Put it on refit for a turn. But this is Fort Level 3 now, so that's good. That's water. Water. This is a fairy tile. We want to defend that. And we'll want to defend. Okay, so we got guys on the hexes that we want to defend. Except for this one. Damn, it costs a lot of movement points to get over there. Hmm. Guess I didn't think that one through all the way. But we know we definitely want to defend this with a good stack. And then we'll start sending some more up towards separates. Uh, get those guys across the river next turn. But they'll have some walking to do, so. We'll send them ones with less movement points forward.
Stick them in clear zone. Okay. Now I gotta find something that I can stick up there. Hmm. Like I said, I don't have anything extra. But I, I want a rifle division there, realistically. But these guys already have a lot of combat tech points. Yeah, maybe I will. I'm hoping that nothing will pass through this this next turn, but um, we'll find out. I'm really curious if there's anything up here. But he doesn't have enough movement points to get back if I send him up there. Is a problem. Why could this thing not move? Oh, it's because this this is contested. The support? No. Shoot. This guy's kind of screwed. Yeah. Oh, can I rail him, maybe? Nope. So he's stuck fast. All I could do is, like, relocate him. Hopefully this thing will hold. Maybe they'll conveniently knock my guy into the city. All right, that's good. That's pretty much the southern front sorted. That's that's about all I wanted to get to down here, anyways. All right, so for the northern front or northwestern and Leningrad fronts, I should say, northern front is Finland. I think what I want to do is. Kind of move around, move around some guys to build up some strength in some of the key areas, like here, and to definitely pull out of Estonia altogether. Like I know this isn't supposed to fall till turn ten. I just don't know how to make that happen. I really don't want to move the whole 27 army over there necessarily. What I wish I had is a couple of rifle corps I could move. But I no longer have rifle corps. This guy's on his way to the other side, so we'll keep driving him. He got some supplies to last him a week or so. But I want him kind of over here so we can do some scouting with him.
And we're going to give him to whoever commands all these guys. I guess the 8th Army. Will he fit in the 8th Army? Yeah, so the 8th Army is now full. Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually kind of good. So what's what's gonna get broke through here is this tile. This tile is indefensible. And this guy's getting absolutely zero supply. Why is that? Well well maybe because he's going all the way up there. So let's get him over to a different group. Twenty-seventh already has the left. North Western Front just has too much stuff assigned to it still. So what is assigned to this now? Okay. I don't see a reason why this guy could go to Luga. That looks pretty good, except for some of these guys that are assigned really far away. All right, so the Tenth Army. What I'm trying to set up this turn is to kind of get the armies together. And just start using them as like entire units instead of spreading everyone out constantly. I already moved in this turn. give these guys to the 10th army as well and I'm probably going to move them up the line a little bit. thing has zero supply. This only has 68. Some definite supply shortages. Is now pretty badly damaged. So I'm thinking it might be a time to abandon this position. shift these guys over here. Oh. Spooky scary.
All right, and then we're gonna build our the rest of our forts up here. So we want all of these to be fortified. That one already was. That one already was. Okay, so that now that whole line is fortified at least. Slightly out of command range for the 27th Army. Can I slide stuff around on the line here? Probably not. This is the weakest area right here. Give him to the tenth army. I think maybe I just got a rifle cord deleted, and that's why all these guys are so far out of range. So it looks better now. But I already moved most of this stuff to the. 8th army last turn so it's all still refitting It's, it's been on there for a long time. That's the routed status. Alright. Now, maybe I can get some of these armies out from under the grasp of the uh, northern, north, northwestern front. Okay, we're going to replace Daltov for sure this time. And we want our best mechanized unit. I guess it would be this guy. But he's actually better on infantry than he is. On, so maybe it's better to have... Someone like Rosakovsky. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe this because he's got good stats across the board. 
which is kind of what we need for t our tanks. Like we want high initiative, high initiative and high administrative, and preferably high morale. But we don't necessarily need high infantry, so that's kind of wasted. But all the sixes, like the six five guys, they don't have great. They don't have great administrative or initiative. So they're just kind of objectively worse. But maybe it's... Yeah, we'll throw this guy on. Even though he is better with infantry. We'll hope that he uses his good initiative and good administrative skills to help us out. And he's got really high morale, which is good. So this tank force is going to have to be our elite tank force. And as such, we're going to give them an elite color. That is that's truly the key to victory, is having it in elite color. And in their case, it's going to be this kind of green color. There we go. Uh, if that ain't elite, I don't know what is. I wish you could change the text color, because then we could go with, like, black. Like the Nazis have. Like, what what happens if you do set back black? Do we change it to white? No, it just turns the symbol unreadable. Like, you can't change the... You can't change the, the symbol color. So, we're going to give them, like, a nice green color. All right. Give them some camouflage. Now, that job might be just to defend the Lucky Lucky. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to defend that. But for sure, we're going to try to defend this rail up here. That's what I'm most worried about. Hmm. Do I have a security division or something that can go skip that? I wish I had that motorized brigade further down, but they just got down into this region. So we're getting some combat prep points. are starting to shape up. Just have some brigade strength guys. One division and a couple brigades. But this is eventually going to be a very it's a level 5 fort so it's going to take a while to break down so like, we definitely will have the advantage on defense alright let's assign the rest of these guys to the Luga army where's the 10th rifles Why are they getting such crappy supply?
keep these on a two. Uh, it's just out of range. I mean, I guess what I really want to do is put him on Luga. Because that's the depot spot. So it'll probably be more efficient. Uh, but don't work. Do I just build another depot here, maybe? I don't know. fort there. We are going to make this thing defensible. I don't care what it takes. And I want to replace this guy eventually to one of the better ones. Because this is going to be a really important army. I think I might have already replaced the original guy. But, I mean, this guy's not bad. A 5, 4, 4, 5. It's not great, but it might be usable. Entirely happy with him. All right, this militia are very low strength, but I want to put them on that that front over there. I think these guys are going to get absolutely wrecked. So he could really just drive around us here. Like, what if I just pulled back this line? Because I could do one, two, three, four, five. Six. And that would probably be enough to, to push him around. So, like, let him cross the river. Don't let him get free hex. So, the 16th Rebel Corps would then kind of swing to the finish just straight up. I mean, this is a four level one, but... a little uncomfortable with how it's set up right now. Okay, so now at least we are have a longer line, or have a shorter line for us and a longer line for them. That's what I was hoping for. I 
And we can stick everyone on reserve. That was weird. I clicked it once and it just waked up. This guy still has a lot of fatigue. How is this general? It's definitely not the best. But let's see how he does. Alright, I kinda like that that new line. It'll give them space and push them right to the woods. Unless they just decide to go straight down. That's that's the one thing I'm a little scared about. But I think that's where our tank army has to come in. As shitty as their combat prep is going to be. Let's see, can we all make it? Pretty much everyone. It's either that or start moving them up there. I don't know. And this feels like our weakest area in the Velekluki. But at the same time... They might need it further up. And I'd hate to have them in the woods. I'd rather have infantry in the woods. So where does the green army go? The 31st army. Or I could just sit them here for another turn and see what happens. But I think I'm going to lose Vileki Luki if I do do that. Because now that I've pulled back my northern front area to what it is, I think they're just going to steam upwards. And I think I probably could swing 8th Army around. Did I get any other army commanders this turn? Uh, let's check our order of battle real quick. These are independent armies here. Where's the 28th army? Oh, you are going to Stavka. I would still prefer these guys go to the front. Let's see if I can make that happen. Okay, so now the Western Front is overstacked. Is there anything on the Western Front that we don't need? a lot of armies. It only has these four forts to go. Alright, 
Let's see what the armies are around here. What the hell? This guy has got some bizarre commands. Honestly, maybe we maybe have this guy go up to Stavka for a turn. He doesn't have anything on the front line, so... It's no big deal. even been building a fort? I guess he has. I'm leave him in the range, I suppose. Yeah, we'll keep him on a three. The 13th army. Alright, so that should sort out the western front. Okay, yeah, now he's decked down the 59. Is barely throwing up any defense. Still unready. I'll just march him up here and stick him in that town. Thirty uh, thirty goes up to Stalko. So does twenty fourth army. Curious to see what they have up here. I just, I'm hoping he like hits me with something, so I kind of know if he has tanks in this area that could could push towards Gamel. Is this any good for tank country? Kind of is up here. Hmm. It's just got really bad supply. Very tempting though. Well, I think they'll definitely cross the river this turn, and I think the Lucky Lucky very well might fall. Because it's not very long to go from there to there. So if we don't have something to at least slow him down, it's just going to fall. So I think we have to send our tank army over. As much as it pains me to lose them. Because I assume I'm just going to lose them all. 
I kind of don't want to lose those planes, but I also want to use the planes this turn. So my two options are either abandon this air base, you know, get all these planes out of there, uh, which means they won't be protecting a rail, or lose a whole bunch of tanks. I'm not sure I want to do either of those things. That's the new airbase I'm building back here. Just want to start constructing some more stuff up here. I mean, the other danger about leaving this open is it leads us, leaves a potential for encirclement. So that's why it's bad to leave it open. Because we know he's been sitting around generating combat prep points. And he's going to look at this front line up here and think, eh, that looks kind of strong. I mean, he can br blow through it in this area here. But... To, what to do. I think I might leave it like that for now. And I think I'm going to have to bring the tanks up. I don't think I have a choice. So what is that going to look like? It's not going to look good now, is it? That's the only one that can actually make it there, then it's not even worth doing. So I have one, two, I have two that can actually make it there. No one else can actually make it all the way to Lucky Lucky. Let's undo that.
Is there something else I can do? I don't know. I don't think so. So the problem is we're going to have a guy just drive all the way here. But he probably won't be able to make it too much farther. So we'll, we will have time to pull out. Part of our line. Just hate to give up the river this easily. So if we did one, two, three, I wish I just had something to scout it. Could use a mechanized division here. Hate to lose it in such a stupid way, though. Uh, this is Agni. I mean, there's definitely a route through it that's going to be easiest. So that's probably what it'll take. So I could theoretically just stick a couple units here. Like here. Here, here, here. At least make it go through the tougher terrain. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like one, two, three... It'd be sacrificial lambs, though. They're going to die if I do that. So is this actually ready? It is. So, I mean, that might do the job. So we could give them all to the 22nd Army or to the 67th Rifle Corps. So 27th Army is already... 
I say army? It's already weird. And then we could give everyone else. Do we have another army here? Are these all rifle cores? Oh my god. I really need an army on this left side. I was just so lazy last turn, and all this stuff is now absolute trash. Alright, that's, that's looking a little bit better. I guess that's still only Fort 1. It's been there forever. Alright, so if they drive just straight this way, well, at least have some units there now. Make them take the slower terrain. Why not at least put one guy in the city? Just so they don't take it for free, because there are planes there. Part of me really wants to drive this down here. I guess I could drive this really weak ass tank division in there. Could be useful for scouting purposes at least. I mean, it, it ain't, it's never gonna get back to full strength, so why not just use it as a scout? So we'll just give him over the 22nd Army. Put that. And I think the 22nd Army, we might now send up to Stavka. Because he's so far from the front. Alright, so this, this guy's going to the 11th Army right now. But let's instead give him some 22nd Army. Because that fills up the 22nd Army. Alright. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. It's 
It's weird. It's different. Not fun. Set back down to a two. Set it to a one. All right. Well, I'll probably need to spend some more time next time on kind of the southern half of the central area Smolensk area but at least the northern half that's kind of all I can do um, I will I guess tighten these guys up maybe I don't know I, I don't understand why they're so low on supply but hopefully just sitting around on a rail We'll get them back up. So we'll refit everything else. And hopefully this guy will get enough supply where he refits people. I feel like having them closer is probably better if you're just refitting. So I'll make sure all these are on refit. This will be our refit region. Put that on four. And just hope they get enough reinforcements in. Otherwise, what we can try is we could try moving them down to a double rail. Maybe that'll help. But I was trying to keep them off the main line here. Because this is just feeding for Lucky Lukey, so I'm not too concerned about it. And this one might need to go up to a three, I think. Because Luga is just getting no supply. But at least its airbase is almost done. That's cool. That'll be my first airbase ever expanded in this game. All right, so the goals for next time look at the strategy around the southern half of the western front um probably not going to do anything with um whatever army this is 21st army i guess all these guys go to staka well let's reassign them to 21st army because that's stupid I know I'm going to get another front next turn, so that'll make things a little bit easier down here, because then I can kind of give all of this group here to a front, which will definitely ease the administrative burden. I don't know if he's going to be a good front commander or not, but 
guess we'll find out. He's still just trying to poke right through through the middle. Flew a lot of air battles here, and we lost a lot of planes, but I'm gonna lose more this turn. That's not gonna be a change. But basically we only have two small parts to do, and then we'll hand in our turn. So probably another shorter video next time. Uh, I know this was a long one, but we got a lot done. We sorted out the whole northern uh northwestern front in Leningrad area and then we got most of the the western front sorted still really concerned about encirclement but it doesn't seem like he has anything super close like I'm not sure what unit this is it's probably a motorized division of some sort it could be a tank division if he decides to just push straight east from here it could be in some serious trouble, but at least he won't be pushing towards Leningrad. So, I don't think he can do both. Maybe he can. Who knows? We'll find out in the next installment uh, after we turn the turn, of course. See ya.